Good morning, guys. Today we are going to discuss about LAT2. Since because of the COVID uh, pandemic, and uh, this week we will be having online lab uh, because one of the students has got a positive COVID. Now coming to uh, this lab number two is uh, about uh, belt drive. Uh, the we we'll discussed about mainly the V belt and uh, the important parts and functions of V belt and how to dismantle a V belt. What, what are the care and maintenance we can do in, on a V-belt and what are the tools used to uh, dismantle and reassemble V-belt. These are the things we discussed about this lab. Also, we'll have a short session on a flat belt also. Now coming to this V-belt, so the important parts are here. You can see this is the driver and this is the driver motor, electric motor. And here got a three pulleys here, three grooves. On one groove, the bigger groove, second one and the third, there are three grooves are here. And we can put uh, this belt in three different grooves. And uh, smaller groove means, as you know before, as you are aware, the speed will be more. And the medium, and uh, this is be the lowest. And uh, this is the driver, and this is driven. And this is connected with another pulley also here. This is a tooth. This is a V belt, and uh, this is the tooth belt, timing like a timing belt. And here the pulley is different. Like it is kind of like a sprocket. It has got a more grip tooth belt. And uh, with the same diameter here. Whereas here diameter is different. And the center to center distance between belt means from here to here. So we can measure by this, uh, either by tape, we can measure the center to center distance. This is the center to center distance for like a 14 inch here. And also here it will be uh, around 20 inches. This is the center to center distance between the uh, pulleys. So center of the pulley to center of the uh, driver to driven pulley. And uh, this uh, uh, shaft is uh, fixed on two bearings here. One bearing here, one bearing here. These are ball bearings. And uh, here also one bearing here, one bearing here. And these ball bearings are locked with this shaft with a, a set screws here. This we did in the last class. So these are the arrangement. And this is the spacer. Here you can see spacer also here. And uh, these are the important parts of the uh, this belt drive system. And coming to the tools which we are using for uh, dismantling, this is the one of the important tools is you can see this is a ratchet here. This ratchet is for uh, adjusting the uh, tension also, and also we can use it for the dismantling the uh, uh, the bearings and also adjust the uh, tension. And also, if you want to put this belt in other uh, uh, belt glue and uh, sheave, then also we can do by using the spanners and also socket spanners here. And also we have got the Allen key, and for measuring we have got the the uh, uh, steel door and also there is the vernier caliper and the one of the important equipment instruments for checking the speed rpm rotation per minute of the uh, dry pulley and and also here this uh, this, this pulley we can use the tachometer this tachometer is a device for measuring the speed the speed of the motor is given as 1725 rpm 1725 this we can find out when you run it, we can find out the RP of the uh, driver pulley. And also, then we can also find out the RP of this pulley. Definitely, this will be lower. And uh, here it will be high. And uh, here will be uh, less uh, when it is run. Because the diameter is D2 by D1 is equal to uh, N1 by N2. We know the formula for finding the RPM of the uh, which uh, driver or driven, uh, sorry, uh, driven based on the RPM of the driver pulley. That's about these are the important tools. And also there is uh, some Allen keys also. If you want to adjust the, these Allen keys are actually for uh, opening the, uh, removing the set screw and uh, adjusting the uh, uh, shaft and uh, the bearings also. That, that is, these are the important tools. Now coming to, uh, first we will start the uh, uh, motor and then we will see how this, how, how this is going to work. So now it is already, normally it will be in uh, closed position. So this is the closed position. That means we lock out. So you need to unlock, you need to take this out. And then uh, lock the, remove the lock and then it's unlock position. Now it is ready for, this is one of the main switch here. Now it's off position, you can start, you cannot start. You cannot start. Whereas if it is on, you can start. Now. The driver is conveying the power motion to the driven member, and then it is connected to the uh, tooth belt. 
you can find out the RPM of the driver that is the tachometer. You can see here 1493, 1943 RPM. And also here the RPM is This is the RPM of 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 the RPM we are only dismantling this part. By dismantling, we can adjust the tension of this one. And also, we can take this out also by removing this, uh, by adjusting the tension here. See, like this, we can adjust here. Now it's become loose. And also we can adjust, then we can take this belt out. And also this one by uh, you take it out by removing the this bolt. And then we can adjust uh, both these four bolt. We the, definitely this can move up uh, this direction or this direction, and we can take this uh, uh, tooth belt. And also we can adjust the tension. So for adjusting this tension, we can, uh, you can now it is loose to tend, uh, to make it tight. Now this is almost uh, good tension. Now we can now how to uh, t how to test the tension, how to know the tension is okay or not. First method is like this: put the uh, uh, the uh, this is straight edge. You press here like this, and put this one. Okay, and measure this distance, this gap at the middle point. This distance is if it is uh, for uh, 64 inch center to center distance. The center should be one inch that is the international rule rule so if your center distance is 64 inch and if you use the thumb press here and at this distance measure with the steel rule and then if it is one inch means the tension is okay and the other method is by using a diffusion gauge the diffusion gauge is this is a diffusion gauge This diffusion gauge is used to uh, find out the uh, tension also. Here also, here we set the, the soaring somewhere here. And also here the load, make it zero here. And then apply a load, pushing like this. Now here, this is the force now, six pounds here, six kilograms here. We are applying six kilograms. And how much is the diffusion here? And check with the catalog. Catalog means so there is a inside. There for each lot, each belt, there is a table is here. By that, by using the table, you can find out the diffraction. And if the diffraction is asked for the uh, pound, the force applied, 
and uh, the def deflection which you got here then compare and you can find out the uh, whether it is uh, tension is or correct or not this how there are two methods one is by uh, using the state edge and that one one inch or 64 inch and the other one is by depression gauge by applying a specified force and using the table and then compare with the results then another method another important thing is you can also check the you must check the um, uh, the alignment the alignment you can be checked by the pulley the, between the two driver and driver pulley put the straight edge here and then using a feeler gauge you apply use the feeler gauge put the feeler gauge inside then use the smallest one thinnest one thinnest one see it's not going inside means here also not going inside that means this alignment is okay and also here also we can check the alignment by like this put the stator jaw here and then okay then apply use the stator here and uh, sorry feel the gauge here and the small small difference is here we can adjust that also that is how you should check the uh, the alignment of the pulleys alignment of the pulley is very important and tension tensioning of the belt is very important the next one is uh, uh, you must check any uh, crack on the belt any damage or any crack or uh, any damage that also important thing for both belts and also check the uh, pulley groove the pulley groove can be uh, can we can measure using the groove gauge so this is called a groove gauge so you put this one for example this is now 34 the 34 is all right see this for 38 so this by putting this one if it is there's no gap between the shoe between the two edges that may is going and there should be a small gap at the end because the belt will not touch the v, v groove down bottom portion so this is all right so there is no gap so this is called a groove gauge and once the all these grooves are same so once you know this one all, everything will be all right then uh, next is you must lubricate the bearings because the bearing is one of the important part which is holding the shaft for trouble free operation and also any prevent any vibration so for the lubricating this one this is called a uh, anti friction bearings so that means uh, here uh, the bearings are all need to be lubricated ball bearings are need to be lubricated for that you need uh, you can use the grease gun this is the grease gun so in, this is like a cylinder and inside the cylinder is a piston also so and the cylinder has got uh, uh, grease this, this color is a, gr a grease uh, this uh, uh, reddish color and uh, you must first uh, apply put this uh, grease gun over here then up, just press this one this uh, piston will press the force the lubricant through the uh, small pipe and inside the uh, belt for inside the bearing like this is how you can do the apply the uh, lubrication uh, of the uh, ball bearing uh, this uh, this type of anti friction bearings normally we use the grease as the lubricant that's about this one so your job is to find out the uh, uh, diameter of this pulley diameter of the pulley is uh, 50 here that you can check with the uh, Vernier caliper. This is 50. And also here it is 120. You can use the steel rod or uh, the, the diameter pulley diameter is 50. And here it is 80. Second pulley is 80. And third pulley, largest pulley is 100 millimeter. 50, 80 and 100 millimeter is the diameter of the driver pulley. And driven pulley is, uh, uh, is 120 millimeter and uh, then that's about this and the rpm of the motor driver is 1725 rpm 1725 so this table you can find out the output rate output uh, uh, rpm speed output of this one you can find out once you know this uh, speed you can find out by using the formula d2 by d1 is equal to n1 by n2 so for three different uh, uh, pulley groove you must find out the different uh, output that's why that in the table there are three 
table uh, rows of uh, readings are to be are given. So one is once the the RPM of the driver the driver is always constant 125. Whereas the diameter changes here 50, 80, 100. But here D2 is same. Uh, so you can from this for each uh, diameter you, you need to find out the RPM of the output shaft. That's about uh, your job. Then next is so you need to actually you need to dismantle uh, your, this one and also this one and you need to put this uh, belt here and here. These are the uh, things which you need to do. And each time you need to find out the RPM. And RPM also can be calculated and also you can compare with the RPM by using the um, tachometer. The tachometer will give you the reading and then compare with the results. That's about this uh, the belt drive. Now coming to there is so uh, so uh, once you finish this one you must uh, complete the, there are some questions in the lab report you must answer the questions and also do housekeeping like the tools and everything should be kept in the proper place and uh, and make sure that the alignment is perfect and tension is correct and also well lubricated and uh, and any outside any visual inspection also need to be conducted uh, make sure that the equipment is in fine condition good condition. That's about this lab. And uh, coming to uh, here, there is a V belt also. This V belt actually you might have seen in the airports. This is normally used in uh, uh, for conveying purpose. That is for power transmission. Whereas this is power transmission, the V belt. Whereas this is for conveying materials from one end to other. Here you can you can see this is the uh, driver. Why is the driver? Because the motor is here. Down you can see the motor here, and there is a uh, chain drive, and also there's a worm gear also here. So this worm gear will convey the uh, from the motor through the chain and the worm gear, the, the motion will be transferred to the uh, driver. Now this is the driver pulley here, it's a round one. And there is the driver pulley is uh, having a shaft, the pulley is uh, fitted on the shaft and with the both ends there are the ball bearings are here. Uh, you can see the ball bearings are well lubricated here. And then there is a drive, uh, driven pulley. That driven pulley is like an ideal pull, pulley, not sleeping like sleeping. There is no action. Only when this power is uh, when more, this is moved, automatically that will move. And between the pulley, there is a belt. This is a flat belt. It's made of uh, uh, leather, plastic, or uh, some uh, rubber materials, uh, synthetic, uh, like composite material made of. And uh, here, the, your job is to uh, whether the belt drive is running perfectly or not. I can show you here. Now we're running smoothly. There is no issue because uh, he well lubricated and uh, well the tension is all, all everything is okay. And also you must check whether any scratch or anything here, any damage here. You can see here there is a small uh, stitching here. So that means some it is not uh, cannot take a heavy load and for a long time. So you can see here there is a small stitching here. Uh, this is need to be replaced in uh, due course. And uh, you can adjust the tension of the belt. By here, there's a two uh, bolts are here. One bolt here, this bolt. By loosening the bolt, and also we can uh, adjust the tension. Here it's tight here. So you lose this one, and also then you can adjust the tension. And once you adjust tension, how you check the tension? Middle of the belt, take the middle of the belt, and you put your uh, hands here inside, and just to go inside. Not to not be too loose. See, so you can just press, uh, take it, lift little up. And then the middle, you put your hand. And if it is going inside, uh, not uh, too loose, means uh, the tension is okay. That is how the uh, that is one of the techniques by which you can find out the tension of the flat belt. One important thing is uh, when you adjust the uh, when you fix the belt, you can adjust the tension by opening this, uh, loosening the loosening the two bolt over here at the driven end. Then you can adjust. And at the same time, you must make sure that the clearance here this end is. Uh, little uh, bigger, whereas this is narrow. That need to be adjusted. So by loosening the bolt, you can adjust the uh, the positioning of the belt on both sides, left and right, to be equal. And uh, other important part is this is a frame. And these are frames are uh, the belt is driven uh, or installed on frame. And you can see there are legs also. These legs for holding the uh, belt drive mechanism. So frame, leg, driver, driven pulley. Driver, this driver pulley, driven pulley, and the belt tensioning the bolts are here on both sides. And uh, there are bolt, and there will be bearings here, and uh, these bearings are actually holding the shaft, and uh, this is need to be lubricated with the grease. 
and that is how these are the important things about a flyby. This is mainly used for conveyor purpose, conveying of or transferring materials from one end to another. Long distance you can transfer this. It's about a fly belt. Hope you understand and uh, now we please go through the lab report and uh, based on the values which I mentioned the, during the presentation of the uh, video, uh, you calculate and answer the questions and uh, complete uh, the final summary regarding what you did and what you understand about uh, on this uh, particular uh, lab 2 and uh, submit in Dropbox. Thank you so much.